last 50. Here's Strumska in her last match was tested against Emma Navarro, who was the seed in that section and came through it in, in three sets, but what she did do well was commit to coming forward on 16 out of 21 net points, which is just over 75%. And then the story, as usual, was 36 winners, but also 35 unforced errors. So as an opponent, how do you manage playing someone like that, Laura? Is it a case of trying to get the, the hit in first? Are, are you trying to outmaneuver them? Are you tactically, what are you looking to do when you've got someone who's, who's basically a, a bit of a flamethrower? Let's be honest, if we can describe it that way. It's a bit of trying to get the the first Go ball in, in, but I love what Azarenka's trying to do there with the backhand, get it so deep to Yastremska's, well, almost through the middle of the court, so you don't give her any angles to work with. It's harder to then open up the lines. And you think back to a year ago, the best match that Azarenka played here last year was against a big hitter. She won a very tough match against Jess Pagula, but what she did well there was slow down the pace at times, get some extra net clearance and more height up to Pagula's forehand. Yeah, lost only five games, didn't she, in that one? in the quarterfinals last year. Yes. Looking stunning, ladies. Meanwhile, on Yastremska's side, you feel that she needs to bring the net into play. As soon as it gets too high, dry volley straight away, close down the point. Oh. It was a good win against Emma Navarro, who's been in very good form. Player that's been on the up. Previous round. Big difference in the two as far as forehand speeds go this week. stremska has got about 20 kilometers an hour more average on her forehand than Azarenka has so far through the tournament. And I think the one thing when we look through some of the, the pre-match numbers was just the net clearance, Laura, because there's not yeah. a lot of that from Yastremska, is there? Which, again, emphasizes that she treads a fine line at times. Well, in terms of centimeters, uh, she's only at 66 centimeters, which is very low. <laughs> maybe work on a, an average for the tournament, but that would be right towards the bottom. And Zarenka, meanwhile, on average, 91 centimeters. So in a way, I feel like that's kind of her, Azarenka at times, because a lot of those forehands end up dropping quite short. And if we look at 
what she used to do very well when she won the tournament twice it was hit through the forehand get some speed and you would almost consider her a big hitter back in the day but i wouldn't really put her into that category anymore yeah beat maria sharapova for her first title here back in 2012 and then a year later defended beating lena to go back to back Depth obviously has got to be key as well, hasn't it, Laura, for Azarenka today? Just to, t just to keep that ball, just to avoid dropping anything too short, because we know that Yastremska will, if it is short, look to get on the front foot. Yeah, and Azarenka finds the depth more frequently on her backhand side, for sure. So if she's looking to play a lot of forehands today, which, you know, she will be based on her average split throughout the tournament. Let's she has to be able to add some extra height at times. It's not a bad miss there as you're trying to find your range. I like the idea of her going bigger, bigger on the first serve. It's already pretty pacey, but then straight away getting in and almost cutting down the angles. Yeah, certainly been serving with more pace at these championships than she did last season. Oh. 10K more, in fact, here compared to the 2023 season. Some impressive defense, and Yastremska just getting herself caught in a slightly difficult part One of the court. Game on. Just confirmation there of Azarenka's serve speeds, but then you see how much the unreturned serves has gone up based on that. And you think back to 
these courts last year, which were actually playing quicker. So in theory, she should have got more unreturns in 2023. And the added value as well, Laura, isn't it, of, of obviously getting more free points. So therefore your, your workload is just reduced a little bit because you're not having to, to place a quite so many extended rallies. And that change for Azarenka as one of the best returners in the game just means that if she's flying through her own serve slightly quicker, more pressure straight away on the opponent. As you'd expect, Anzarenka is going to try and put a lot of pressure on that second serve. And she defends it, may well define the outcome of this match. Oh, lovely. Soft hands. Yeah, that was a very good test, wasn't it? Of her skills in that part, Azarenka made it uncomfortable. Never easy being the top seed in qualies, Laura, is it? Oh, it's a nightmare. You're praying for someone to get, not a bad injury, just a small one, just enough to keep them out for a few weeks and, and slide you into the main draw. Every single match in qualifying in three sets did Yastremska. Six four in the third twice, 40, 30. including in the final round, and then annihilated Marketa von Drusova, the Wimbledon champion, mm. in round one. What a great day at the office, it's fair to say, for the check. of a fine contest you sense this one there's plenty at stake yeah strenska on serve one. leads 2-1 is uh, back home, I think. It's LA based, isn't she? Mm -hmm. Or I believe. Actually in Florida a lot now. Okay. I believe Leo is going to school there. Right. But uh, has been leaving lovely messages for him after each match on the camera. And the last one was smile is non negotiable. Which is like something that. for all of us. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. 
Hall of Fame career, no doubt, for the lady in your picture. It's not just twice a winner here, she's came so close to winning the US Open, beaten in the final there on three occasions. Cannon. Love this. And Zarenka has to be careful on the serve speeds, in particular where that second serve's placed. Oh. It's only made the one first serve so far. What a difference it makes, though. I love it's obviously very early days, but a 17% first serve percentage is going to be a struggle. How effective that return has become in the women's game in the last decade. That heavy, hard one down the middle. <laughs> Not just in the women's game, in fairness. In the men's too. Your strength's going very pacey down the middle of the court. Striking the ball with authority. And again, Azarenka just not allowed the time on the ball. The depth and the pressure has given her two chances to break here. First move is made by the Ukrainian. The Athens colleagues, three games to one. I'm going for broke, isn't she? That's always the game plan for Yastremska, but particularly today. Doesn't want to get into a rally. We were both surprised at her win rate in points over nine shots, though. Yeah. For the tournament, up at, what was it, 62%? Yeah, which suggests that you know, when she has had to extend the rallies, she's been durable. First available seat for now, please. Thank you. Oh. Love 
Let's listen. Love it. I had a love 30 in the last return game, Azarenka. Was unable to do much with it. I remember when she won Adelaide in 2020, yes, Transco, it was kind of felt like the she really was playing her best tennis then and was on the verge of kind of some bigger things. And of course, things change for her. Just that last forehand, it wasn't actually that amazing, but you just see Azarenka doesn't know where it's going. She's stuck in the middle here, thinks it's going line. So often it is a feast or famine scenario, isn't it, from Yastrems' perspective? So many of the points will be, the outcome of them will be dictated on her racket. What a stunning return. Seemed to get a good read on the serve. Yes, uh, utilizing the pace nicely. A couple of breaks back to back here. Based all over the world, she has strength as well. She has spent some time in Turkey and Istanbul training. She, of course, has been in France for a long time. So many of those players from the Eastern Bloc left home to try and further her tennis. Yeah, of course, had to flee her hometown and get to France, her and her sister. Time. So a quick response from the former champion here. Serving at 2-3. Oh. Okay,
be surprised that Azarenka's going so often to Shremska's backhand at the moment. The forehand's dangerous for sure, but to go four or five times and then your strength is obviously going to open up the line. We have not been too many extended rallies so far, but Stremska able to come out on top on that one. Thirty fifty. Such an offensive returner, isn't she? She's not really going to kind of back off at all. So. Not in a great groove, a rhythm. You sense at the moment on serve. Been a real lack of firsts. Oh. Hopefully the tumble wasn't as quite as severe as it 14, might have been. 15. Let's have a look again. Didn't look like an ankle roll or anything. Just lost a footing. Soft landing. Oh. Three games off. Well, just the, the average return speeds, in particular on that second serve for your strengths, get really getting after it and very close well, to the baseline. Not already, a lot you. of time to get back into position if you're Azarenka. So I feel first set percentage. Vika today is key. Thank you. Love yeah, this is not going to be a match with a whole lot of nuance in it in terms of the variety, which has been in evidence already. Half an hour on the clock. Oh. An impressive ball striking. Love it. No time to recover for the Ukrainian. That's a perfect shot. Back behind. And there's the depth on the return. What a Love difference it. it makes. serve it's gone missing in this game oh. 
Oh. Never easy at this time of day, is it, from that end? With the sun in your eyes. I've seen that throughout this tournament. Help. 30, 14. So, in case the question you replay on the call on the right here. Well, the first serve was such a big miss, it almost like she compensated on the second, definitely having some issues with the sun. And it's another break, Azarenka back in front. Really hit the height so far, Laura, has it? No. It's definitely been some big hitting especially from Jastrzemska's side, but it was kind of what we expected so far. Just a bit hit and miss. And I think that reflects her results over the last year. Last round of qualies of US Open, last round of qualies of Wimbledon, first round of Roland Garros after qualifying, so just struggles to put uh, multiple matches together. But Maybe this is a, a turning point for her that she's won six in a Hundred and sixty Grand Slam wins on the CV for Victoria Azarenka. Of active players, only Venus Williams has more. And of course we say active rather loosely because one never knows quite where Venus is going to be next, how much more we're going to see from her. Not a whole lot, one would imagine. Ball. can make a bit of a difference, can't they? She is coming on to a fraction faster. Oh. You just feel that that last forehand can go back cross court, trying to play it almost as an inside in. Very difficult with power coming onto your racket. See when she gets it right and has a little more time 15, on the ball, 15. just how effective it is. Yeah, I love that cross court forehand because it feels like she can hit it as hard as she likes. You've got some more margin, it's a higher percentage, it doesn't need to be so close to the lines. Ninth winner for Jastramska of this opening set. Oh.
Gracias. Big point to win. 40, 30. Did she hang tough in her own unique fashion? And you can sense what that meant to her. Didn't buckle under the pressure. Just extracting a few more mistakes out of Yastrzemska at the moment. Five games, two, three. Ready for play, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Maria Behind the players, check. ready for play. On it with the fans coming in at the end of the game. On it, Azarenka is not a huge fan of this addition to the tournament. Yeah, a little bit of an adjustment for all concerned, but certainly, I think, been a good initiative on the whole. I don't think it's caused too much of a disturbance to you. Not at all. Like more tournaments should take the lead of, of the AO because the more players get used to it, the less of an issue it becomes. Mm -hmm. Love to see people coming in at the one love changeover at the very minimum. Very love. Needs a few more of those. First serve percentage. 50% at the moment. It started off strong and then it kind of had a significant dip. Paul Taylor. Convincing game, and one of her best so far, but Azarenka with the opportunity to shut the gates on the first. Five games, Just a bit of a 
baseline points one actually makes interesting reading because there's not a whole lot of difference elsewhere. But if you look at the baseline points one, Azarenka is well ahead. 20 to the 12 that according to our numbers so far, outside courts are getting pretty busy. Of course, lots of junior action taking place out there. There's a few offspring that are pretty famous out there as well, Laura. You were reminding me of Lindsay Davenport's son. Yeah, Lindsay Davenport's son unfortunately took the L. Jagger Leach and then Cruz Hewitt was out there yesterday and also lost. So could have been a better tournament for them, but great to get the opportunity to play. Let's bring Jill Krobas into the conversation for the first time because Jill's made her way down there in the last 10 minutes. Afternoon, Jill, what are your early impressions of what you're seeing? Good afternoon. Yeah, sorry I came a little bit late, but this has been some high quality tennis. And I have to say, I mean, yes, Jenska, when she has time to set up for the ball, she is striking with a lot of pace. So I, it's a battle of her hard hitting shots compared to the Azarenka defense. And I feel like Azarenka has a sense that if she can just stay in these rallies, she can occasionally get an unforced error. But Azarenka right now is so consistent, just forcing Yastrzemska to hit one extra shot. That is a little more shape wow. to that one, 50. and it was deadly. You almost felt like there was another unforced error coming, but she's held her nerve. And I, I like the intensity in the footwork that you see from your strengths good around the slice, underneath the ball. The wrist work involved in that to bring it up and down. Ooh. What happened there? Good. Good job, yes, Strong stayed in initially of just hustling the return 40. back into play. And then she was off. Got to dig herself out of a significant hole now. similar fashion and as a ranker Five. sharing her frustrations with her corner well other than the second point which was the forehand that as missed way long it was basically just a great game from Yastrzemska you got to take that on the chin Okay, 
It's now seven consecutive points for the Ukrainian. Needed that, yeah. 30, 30. Well, after the last point, Azarenka's coach looked like he told her to zip it a little bit with the negative chat after the points. Set up. I love when she's able to open up with this cross court forehand. The one before that, it's just shorter up the court. It forces your strump to go up off the baseline, and then it just leaves so much room back behind her. Yeah, that's where that little bit of additional spin that she has on the forehand comes in very useful. She has to be able to create a bit more angle. Forty, Second serve is being put under pressure to six of 16 points one, and that one was light in terms of pace. Has a ranker all over it. Oh. Doesn't need to be so close to the line. That cross court. One of the ball girls just left the arena temporarily. Maybe not feeling a hundred percent. It's another break, a fifth of the opening okay, set. Six games to five. And it's the former champion that edges ahead once more. Oh, another example of a classic Yastrzemska game. And you have to think if she's going to be able to put more of these kind of results together, something needs to change. This time last year, she basically ranked the same, just around the 100 mark. And so you just can't afford a 30 all there, a juice to play so low percentage. A long time since Victoria Azarenka was in the time. winner's circle at any event. In fact, you have to go back to the summer of 2020 when she won the event in Cincinnati, which at that time was held in New York because, of course, that was the COVID year when they brought the Western and Southern Open to New York. She won that event. 
three and a half years without a title. She's come close. Serving once again to try and take a set lead. When it's on, it's really on. I mean, talk about stand and deliver. Indefensible. Very strange set numbers wise because you look at Azarenka's serve, very low first serve percentage, but that's kind of irrelevant because she's hardly won the points behind it anyway. But it's done actually a really good job of defending the second. She's won 13 of 18 second serve points, which you wouldn't necessarily have thought. Trend continues. It kind of looks like Yastremska is enjoying the pace of the first serve because she doesn't have to think too much about what to do with it. It's just respond as quickly as possible. Yeah. A gift. Yes. Yeah, she knows it. Break point. Returns in play is everything.
Yes. <laughs> he thought it was in. Wouldn't resist the change of direction, could she? And she missed in the smallest of margins. Well, up until that shot, I was thinking she's doing such a great job here of just hanging tough in the rally. She was quickly out of the corner. The drop shot looked a little desperate. And Jaskowska oh, ate up the yes, ground. This was an interesting shot selection because you think about how hard that ball cross court is, how tough it is to drop into the drop shot, get underneath it, and have enough slice on the ball. And it's also one straight run, isn't it, Laura, from Jaskowska yep. from that backhand corner. This has been the most intense of sets. The outcome of it still up for grabs. Advantage, Azari. Yes. Corner. Set that is about to hit the hour mark. Oh, it's a big serve. Advantage. 173, but placed directly on that middle line. Yeah, one of the best of the afternoon so far, unquestionably. Yes. Jill, there's kind of a sense of deja vu up here. I don't know how you feel. It certainly feels a lot of these points are playing out in a very similar fashion. If they are, yeah. And I don't know if you guys can hear it from up there, but there's a lot of oohs and ahs with the ball striking, especially off Yastrzemska. She's getting a little bit more pop off her ball overall compared to Azarenka. <laughs> Advantage, Yasmin. 
That one was struck a little bit better, but I agree with you. I mean, yes, Jemska's first step up to that ball is so fast, and now she's looking for Azarenka when she changes the angle of the racket head. She's anticipating so well. Got there with ease, didn't she? What an athlete. Exceptional for Bilani Ostromska, the qualifier, refusing to lie Six. down here. Genzo, tiebreak. Only right that we have a tiebreak after this kind of first set. What a return that was. meeting was a long one in Guadalajara it may only have been two sets but that was two and a quarter hours that afternoon this one potentially following suit oh. Sign for Stremska that she's friends. finally come through one of these longer points. Still seeing courtside definitely have so much more pace on the ground strokes today. Yeah, that's definitely something that stands out, especially off the first strike on the ball. When she gets set, she gets so nice and low with the legs, and that's what helps her get that little extra power off the ground. One on. It's a good one-two combination. Suwon, Azarenka. You feel that when Yastremska is forced quite fast into her backhand side, she just can't resist adding more pace onto it. When that's the one that she should just slow down, go back cross court. It's not her game style, of course, but a few more unforced errors coming off that side. Yeah, Laura, especially when it's a Three little one. bit higher like that. She doesn't Azarenka. mind the pace, the flatter ball from Azarenka coming into the backhand. But when Azarenka's getting, being able to lift it a little bit, that's the one that she gets just tempted to go for more. Oh. As in many ways, in following the pattern of the set, neither player really able to break free so far in the breaker.
thought that one through a little more. And Helen got on top of the rally. Rio. She's been able once again to produce the goods. it makes for your strength to go to be able to just step in take the ball on the rise inside the baseline job done I can't remember too many coaches whistling mm. from he's the in, side of the court he's into it isn't he and he's engaged as are those inside the Rod Laver arena Great job, great job. Raise your hands for the serve on the body. If you can, shoot sometimes on the body. This point, we need this point. Come on. First, come on. Let's keep some good depth. Come on. And yes, Dramska off that. Azarenka return. Got herself into the lead. Oh. <laughs> what a time for one of her best returns of Four. the match. That was definitely the most pacey return I've seen from Azarenka. Really got up on the ball in that one, but moved through it beautifully. The change up did the job. Jemska didn't want to give up ground. Four. Played uh, what looked like an uncomfortable shot, trying to come down over the top of the ball. You will have an occasion. Come on, come on. So much invested from both in this opening set. time to do so. Viral. And total net points one, still nine out of ten. B strumps gets comfortable coming forward. Support has been vocal. It's been constant from Yastremska's corner. And the Ukrainian with a chance right here to seal the opening set. Oh. 
Well, I'm fairly sure I heard the coach say go body. She's done the opposite of six <laughs> of what he said. She doesn't even know it's time to change ends either here. So focused is she. She just treads such a fine line, Yastremska, so often. With the manner in which she plays. This has to be one of the longest sets in the women's draw that we've had in these championships so far. 73 minutes and counting. Took it on and delivered. Can place it any better than that. 20th winner of the day for the qualifier. Yeah, Zarenka would definitely be looking for more first serves in play, even though that first serve point one was very low in the first set. Just to lift the first serve percentage, take some pressure off her second. And I would almost be going body all the time on the first serve because you see Stremska, the way she likes to play just outside of her strike zone. One step either way is where she's most comfortable. Well, there was a little more consistency in the first delivery. First game. Second. Managed to come from a set down on a couple of occasions here last year, of course, beat Madison Keys. 
along the way and Zhu Lin, both from a set down. Oh, I'll never forget that match against Zhu Lin. It finished at like 10 past two in the morning. It's unlucky. Good job of cutting off the angle, but Oh. I was talking the other day about the role her grandfather actually played in her life, Yastremska. He actually passed away just over, just under a year ago now. And he was the one that kind of brought tennis to her. Oh, that is audacious. 30, 30. He sadly died in April of last year, but... Very, very close family, the Astramskas. Also, his younger sister, as Laura was telling us earlier on, who also plays the game. Got you. Most of the family are now back in Odessa. It's that city on the coast in the Ukraine. Yeah, unbelievable to hear that her grandmother's house had been bombed at the very start of this year. 40, 30. Yeah, take all that into account, how hard tour life is anyway. Yeah. And what the Ukrainian players are dealing with. Mazarenka, I'd try to get away from the fast return through the middle of the court because Istremska's expecting them now. She's anticipating it. She's moving well in the split step after the serve. <laughs> Nothing you can do about that, but when Azarenka does get a good hit on the return, I'd almost just go fast to Istremska's backhand because that's where the majority of the unforced errors have come from. Didn't get up after that one at all.
pressure was immediate off the return and Azarenka does make an ideal start to the second. That was an interesting game because it's the first time I've really seen Yastrzemska almost try and run to the next ball before finishing her shot and that just gives you an indication that maybe she feels like she's behind in the rally. Azarenka picked up the pace off the ground in those last couple rallies so Yastrzemska just, just rushing herself a little bit in those last two points. Any element of tiredness, Jill? I mean, it was a physical set, wasn't a it? A little bit, yeah. She was just leaning over her legs a little bit there, trying to catch her breath. Took, put her hand to her chest just a little bit, trying to catch Ready that Thank you. breath. And she is taking a little bit more time. It's due to Azarenka, though, but probably a good good sign for Yastrzemska just to slow down slightly. Worth remembering that Yastrzemska played nine sets in qualifying as well. A week leading in. Is she just having a little bit of a physical letdown here? <laughs> well, you mentioned the fact the first serve is better much greater degree of consistency and that certainly is the case right now yeah, what a difference in this set six out of seven first serves in and one all six points behind him oh. And just thinking back to Yastrzemska's match against Emma Navarro, definitely had a dip in the second set there where she just went off the boil. Loads of unforced errors, and Navarro did well to just keep balls in play. Mm. And you kind of feel that's what's happening right now. Make the most of that opportunity. New ball. And Azarenka's won Please. 14 of the first 19 points. This is a good comeback at the start of the second. We had a slight feeling at the end of the first set that this was potentially going to three because just the way that Yastrzemska plays. She's going to have these inevitable peaks and troughs throughout the match and just now can't quite get the shot selection right. Just as quickly it can come back around for her, so very difficult for Azarenka to find some rhythm. As you would expect, she's responded brilliantly. Time. Ball. Oh. 
15. Encore, next. Encore. Encore. Encore, next. To the front. It's been an understandable drop in the intensity at the start of this set. I just feel like she's lost her footwork. Yeah. You get that sense too, Jill, down there? From Yastremska's perspective? Uh, definitely. I think she was much quicker off the first step on the serve. And also after her return, just a little bit more ready to get into position. I almost feel like she's getting in the mode where she's guessing a little bit. Azarenka's definitely lifted. I don't think Yastremska's responded with the feet quite yet. And if you play her game style, you do need the footwork around the ball. To be able to hit as big as she does, you need the load from the ground up. Thirty, fourteen. All going very quickly here. Yes. Oh, she produced that from there. Incredible shot. And again, absolutely hurrying to get on with this. In a rush. Not too late to rescue the set, and that will certainly be a welcome boost. Well, Jeff, we try like that. As an uncle, it's three games, two. One. Sometimes we, we try. You have to try like that. Let's go. You're good. You're great. You're great. Let's sense. Oh, well, there's the ball striking that we saw so much of for the first. Hour and 15 minutes of this match. You're great, great.
as she comes through that tough spell. Or well, it seemed as though things just went a bit flat for her. Slicing a little too much air. It was begging to be hit. She needs no second invitation. Frustrated again. Stay in a moment. She has, work, she has to work hard. Very good. This one. Thirty fourteen. on the first serve in this set, I've just been told. And perhaps one of the reasons for the big swing in those numbers, from Azarenka's perspective at least. Yes. be a bit of a miracle if she comes out of this game. Yeah. Oh, we seem to be slightly moving away from Azarenka, who didn't quite get set behind it, did she? Yeah, I felt like she maybe should have caught that one, it just restarted, mm -hmm. because she could really only play the slice from that position. So Yastremska can see it coming. This time she's going to really let out the anger. Mm, there's been some back and forth with her box. I'm surprised that she's not changed more, other than the serve speed in the second set. Considering she's played Georgie, Towson, Ostapenko. This is a matchup that you can almost 
predict what's going to happen. There's going to be points where you've got zero play on the ball, and there's going to be other points, or other games, where you might get four unforced errors in a row. It just doesn't seem to be handling that as well as she did against Ostapenko. She was so rock solid. Time. seem as though Yastremska, who definitely at the start of the second physically looked as though she was almost sort of taking a bit of a breather really has found a bit of inspiration again and this is in this second set more life to it and some success at the 125k level last year did Yastremska, but that was really kind of the deepest runs that she made the tour level wasn't too many weeks to necessarily indicate that this sort of run was on the cards but she may well be able to keep it going playing for of course a spot in the last eight it's been a great reset from your strengths get down three love in a previous match, she lost that second set 6-1, where she just let it slip too quickly. <laughs> Even making those. Great yeah, Laura, it was when you and I started talking about her feet that things started to turn around. She started getting... She heard you courtside. She heard you too. Yeah, she's definitely getting more set, that's for sure. Forty fifteen. Second winner. Yeah, I think she had the third most of anyone through three rounds in terms of winner count. Forty thirty. Yes.
Advantage, Yasrenska. If you're Azarenka, you're thinking, what do I do here? Because one point, it's a double fault. The next point, she rips a forehand winner from that position. And she's got away with it there, yes. but I really feel she's got to get away from that placement on the return. Jastrzemska's serving, moving back, and then staying put. She's not expecting any width. Advantage, Jastrzemska. Lady's straight, and she is now reeled off three games on the bounce. Three games on pace onto her racket, she's just loving that. Playing for a greater cause, as you said, rather than just herself, as so many of the Ukrainian players are. A little bit, perhaps, of Extra incentive. How much is that going to count? Fifteen level. Was actually one of the best juniors in the world. Was Jastrzemska. because she played her first tour level match as a fifteen-year-old. Won her first match a year later when she was just sixteen. So. It's already been seven or eight years that she's been out there competing. Oh. The force break built in that we mentioned when she was sidelined due to the, the ban. Oh. 15 of It was actually an independent tribunal, wasn't it, that overturned that ban. Found there was no real wrongdoing in terms of intentional, at least. His <laughs> trumps is gone. I've lost her. 30, 50. Starting to rip that forehand cross court. Yes, jumps go a bit more width on it. Pressure is growing 14. right now on the 18th seed. Just a 
third double, but one that has put her in a rather perilous position. Breathtaking change of direction from Jastrzemska, who's a couple of games away from a big win. Leads, four games to three. Oh, that was something else. Yeah. How do you see this coming? <laughs> we need to see a replay of this. It's a solid backhand cross court from Azarenka, but. I feel like that's been the issue today. It's been solid, but it's not taken enough time away from Yastrzemska. Landing in that middle third of the court, she probably needs to just get more width on both sides. When Yastrzemska is able to find enough space around the ball, she's just cleaning up. Time. Winner of this one will take on Linda Noskova because on Margaret Cordarina in the last 10 minutes or so, we've had a retirement. Elena Svitolina not able to continue. Just playing three games over there. Well, if it's Noskova against Yastremska, the speed gun might just break in the second point of the match. It's going to be hefty. distinctly possible at this stage. That was an incredible reach from Jastrzemska because she looked like she was out of position and Azarenka even closed the net on that last one to make it seem smaller, but it's too good from Jastrzemska. Thirty fifty. Remarkable turn around, of course, Azarenka had a point to lead for love. Set. Azarenka had the break point. It was 30 40 on Yastrzemska's serve. Yastrzemska saved it with a forehand winner. So it was a sign of more to come. Yeah, that lead's evaporated quickly. <laughs> Again, the Yastrzemska. From the racket of the Belarusian pile up. 
Yes, Lenska leads. Five games, two, three. What a moment. Oh, taking some time here. This would be just a huge result for Jostremska. Best result in a slam before was the round of 16 at Wimbledon 2019. That's how long it's been. Barely won matches at majors in this intervening period. Could be about to win a fourth in succession here. Seventh. Absolutely. Long fitting. Fifteen. Thirty. Now. Fifteen. It's not once got her into this position. And so it's been effective in this set. He's won 14 of 17 points when she has landed it. Going to force the Ukrainian to serve it out. Game, That's a good hold that she needs crucially. To find a break here, it's now or never for Victoria Azarenka. Quite sure what's coming from Yastrzemski here. Does she finally start to feel some nerves, or can she hit through it? Absolutely dominate the baseline on route to the finish line. Another seed in the women's draw on the brink of early elimination. Can Azarenka steal herself here? At times there's not been a lot she can do. Qualifier serving for one of the biggest wins of her life. She might actually topple onto the court. <laughs> Should she win this? Yeah. Oh. He's left every moment.
Fesenum. Just such a devastating shot. And it's been ever reliable 30, 30. for the most part today. A trip to Melbourne that started two weeks ago in the qualifying. A path that may well lead to the quarterfinals. for the very first time in her career. Tremendous display. She takes out the former champion, six and four. Wow, what a way to close her out. Big hitting was the game plan today. As it always is, is with Diana Yastrzemska, but to deliver it as consistently as she did, Across those two so I'm sure there were some dips as there always is with her but the highs were very very high I, I feel Azarenka will just be gutted with how she played today though she never played her best tennis never really got herself going it was, seemed like she was just playing the same point over and over again at times Never replicate that run from last year where she made the semi finals. She will be heading back stateside. I'm sure very much looking forward to be reunited with her young son. Oh, what a lovely souvenir of the day! What a fortnight this has proved it to be. Let's hear from her. She is speaking to Casey Delacroix. Diana, you have just had one of the biggest wins of your career. You are through to your first Grand Slam quarter final. <laughs> Talk us through some of the emotions that you're feeling right now. Well, first of all, I think I need to take a little bit pause and breathe because my heart, I feel it's like going to jump out of my, uh, of my body. Uh, well, I think I don't know what to say really about this match because I think I, during I played this match, I imagine it. I imagine it how I lost already like maybe 25 times. So, because first set I was losing the tiebreak, I was losing the second set, I was losing. So I always felt like I'm, I don't know running behind the train you know so <laughs> i don't know how to explain it but i think that um because i'm a little bit of fighter i think that that's why i won this match and plus the support it was amazing i don't know well 
You certainly were able to continue to jump back on the train. You played amazing, fearless tennis. Is that the way that you've always liked to play? Pretty aggressive. You hit 37 winners today. You must be pretty proud with how aggressive you were. Well, yeah, I like to play aggressive, but I don't like to make a lot of mistakes. And today I felt a little bit tired. And second set, when I was losing 3-0, my coaches told me, like, play just in two shots, in two shots. I'm like, how, how am I do this? Vika is also running good. Like, what I, how can I play in two shots? And then I just started, like, boom, boom, boom. I don't know how to explain it. So, <laughs> so I don't know. I was just, like, uh, enjoying playing, and uh, I saw my team was very confident in me. I was losing, watching them, they're like, come on! So I'm like, okay, come on, let's go! <laughs> so, a lot of boom-boom tennis and a lot of come on is the trick. I want to ask you about it, because are you tired? You came through qualifying, you're now in the quarterfinals, are you tired? Yes, I am tired, but I, <laughs> I think you can, I, I, you see, I'm tired. I think you can see that I'm like barely standing, but, um, you know, I try to pretend like I'm not tired, but I do feel a little bit, but I will take tomorrow probably a day off. I'm not going to even play. I think so because, uh, after tomorrow is like quarterfinals and I'm really looking forward and, uh, I'm not going to put any pressure on me. I better, you know, play and you guys feel a little bit of pressure <laughs> and, uh, I hope you enjoy it. Thank you so much. I just want to ask you, I want to ask you one last question, Diana, because I love the interaction that you have between you and your entourage. So positive, so reinforcing in the, the great stuff that you're doing out on court. Um, I'm sure you couldn't have done it without them today. Yes, I have over there my two coaches, mother, agent, and uh, a lot of fans, and uh, I'm very thankful for them to support me, and uh, I wanted to say something, but I forgot. Oh. <laughs> it's okay, you're very tired. No, I wanted to, wait. It'll come back. Um, wait, anyways, it doesn't matter, that's just... All right, everyone give it up for Diana Yastremska. Lots for words. Um.